Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today is Monday and on Monday we show what we've been making for the past seven days, give or take. Sometimes it's eight days, sometimes it's five days. It's like, this week what did you work on? So with that, I have not made a whole lot and what you see I've worked on is back here. That's Annie. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. I haven't really made a whole lot. Um, life has been busy as you know we got a lot of life events coming up i also on monday i vlog so i talk about what i've been up to over the weekend or the past week i talk about life things bentley usually joins me but like i don't know where he's at right now he's being really quiet which is sneaky and suspicious but um he's probably outside because it's gonna be 60 degrees today and he is such an outside boy like he loves He's going to be so disappointed when the pool goes up because we have a pool and it's just a pool we have to put up every year. And in the back where the pool goes is a sand pit and all he's ever known is the sand pit because <laughs> he was born last September but we got him in November and all he has seen in our backyard is the sand pit so he's going to be so disappointed when we get rid of his sand pit because he loves laying in the sand, he loves digging in the sand, he loves throwing all his babies in the sand. Yeah, see, it's it says it's 42 outside right now, which is still kind of cold. This can be 57, so I mean that's good weather, and he likes soaking up the sun. And the other girls are still sleeping, so he doesn't he doesn't know what to do with himself when he's all alone. All right, so what have we been doing for the past seven days? Um, I start. What did, I made something else. What did I make? trying to think I know that I made something other than this but it's been a crazy week it's been a crazy week as you guys know I had a big blister on my finger and it's hurt really bad my whole hand is swollen up from it I just banged it we we took little man to go see the Harlem Glo Globetrotters and I made an entire video about that and it is a members only video so if you are a member of this YouTube which costs $4.99 a month you get an extra video every week. It is really worth the price. And then we occasionally will do a members only live. Um, I did a full hour long video with clips, like home clips and everything in the stories from the Harlem Globetrotters. I'm just going to tell you right now, amazing show. If you have a chance to go see the Harlem Globetrotters, the, our tickets were only $33 a piece. And that wasn't a discount or anything. I didn't get a special rate. It was just $33 a ticket. Um... It was not a sold out show by a long shot. There was a lot of empty seats. And I was thinking like, this is such a good show. Why are people not coming to see this? I think because people aren't going to see live entertainment anymore. Like not the way they used to because they're not even going to the movie theaters anymore. Like why leave your own house? Everything is already on your TV, right? Like everything is on your TV. <laughs> so like, I just don't think people are going to see live entertainment the way they used to. Cause I, when I saw Harlem Globetrotters when I was little, it was at the Palace of Auburn Hills, which is a, Actually, it might have been at Kobo. I think it was a palace. I'm positive it was a palace. Kobo Hall is another large stadium. It doesn't exist anymore, I don't think. Anyway, we went to a large arena. <laughs> and it was jam-packed with people. And now it's like these small arenas with like... It was only half filled. And it was amazing. Like they had... And there's a lot more diversity on the team. Like they have a woman player. And they have a little person player. <laughs> he is like so entertaining. Um, my personal favorite was Hammer and oh, I don't remember the other guy's name. He had little braids on top of his head. If I can, if I can, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. So Hammer was the coach, the, not the coach. He was the the lead team, the captain. Wow. I am not a basketball farm fat farm. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> God, my brain is not working. I'm not a basketball farm. That is the code of the day. Basketball farm. <laughs> oh, Lord, help me. Okay, so this is... Nope, that's not. So Hammer is the main guy, and then the little guy, the littler guy. the heck is his name? Trying to watch the video to see what if they say what his name is. Nope. 
Anyway, I follow them on Instagram. That's what I'm looking at. Anyway, th those were my two favorite players. They were the funniest. Little Man liked um, the very first Harlem Globetrotter from Poland. His name is Dazzle. And um, we got to meet Dazzle. And there's pictures and there's stories in the members video. So if you're a member, definitely watch that. It's a lot of fun. I really had fun making that video because I was popping in video clips and like... I don't normally edit the members videos. I usually just get on a talk and it's a very personal talk and it's me talking about experiencing whatever I'm experiencing that week. But this video I actually edited and I put in a lot of fun clips and stuff and I don't know. I'm just really, I'm really proud for you guys to watch that if you're members, obviously. Um, so we did that this week, but there's also a lot of, a lot of things coming up for Juju as well because she graduates in just it seems like it's a couple weeks it's just over a month she's going to graduate high school and then we get to start the process of uh, enrolling her in college she's going to a local college she's not leaving home or anything like that she doesn't want to i think she's still kind of scared of the great big world which is fine i'm easing her into adulthood and life so that nothing is like too overwhelming or scary for her but I'm still pushing the whole time. Like, you got to do these things. you got to be an adult. Like, you, we got to do this. This is just part of growing up. Like, it's scary, yes, but we're going to do this, okay? <laughs> and so we have prom coming up. Prom is in, like, two weeks. We have a concert we're going to next week. Or actually this week because I'm, I'm pre-filming because everything is so busy right now. Mary Maxim week is coming up. So we got concert Mary Maxim week. I have doctor's appointments so I went yesterday and I got my A1C tested again I will get the results on April 4th so in a couple weeks we'll talk about that because <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna have time to talk about that that might be a members update too um, <clears throat> but I will let you guys know updates on all of that and I also am gonna go to the eye doctor and get my eyes looked at and get a thorough exam because I'm having some I'm having some serious issues with my vision and I really would like to get my eyes looked at. So lots of things coming up and then prom and then Juju's got like a senior trip coming up and and um she got her cap and gown. Let me show you. Let me show you. My baby got her cap and gown already. <sighs> she just had her pajamas on, but look at my baby girl. She got her cap and gown. That's she's standing in my bedroom. <laughs> so she she doesn't like the gown because it she goes, the gown would fit you, mom. And she pulls it way out. I'm like, what are you trying to say? <laughs> she's all it's just really big on me. I'm like, they're supposed to be big. Alright, I'm not gonna show you that because she'll be so embarrassed. I'll I'll cover her face. She was making a god awful face, but it looks really big on her. And I was like, it's supposed to be big on you. Like, it's okay. It, it, it'll be fine. But she got her cap and gown already. And, like, it's like things are rolling now. And there's just so much coming up. There's so much coming up. And I'm busting my butt working. Like, I've, I've been in here making videos every day. Either for Mary Maxim week, which we got good progress on that. I got two more tutorials to film. I wanted to film them this week. I keep trying to film them this week. But I feel like I'm I'm working in circles almost. Like, I'm working and working and working, but I'm working here, I'm working here, I'm working here, I'm working here, I'm working here. And so nothing is getting finished. And so I'm, I'm really frustrated with myself in that regard. Like, I'm just, I want to get things done and I feel like I'm not. So, <laughs> I'm also taking it really easy on myself, which I don't ever do. <laughs> so I'm not, like, making myself sick with worry trying to get things done. I'm just frustrated that. Oh, I, and I'm, I'm mildly frustrated because I'm so busy and preoccupied with the rest of my life. I just, I'm kind of like taking it in stride, which is very uncharacteristic for Cinnamon Stitches. Cinnamon Stitches is full tilt. Let's do this. Okay. Power through till we get it done. And I'm not doing that. I'm just like, mm, we'll get it done. It'll be fine. And if we don't, guess what? It'll be fine. Right? Um, oh, also, I don't know if I showed you guys this. I have told the story that we are coming up on uh, 10 years that we 
have been living in this particular house. We purchased this house, I think, 10 years ago in May. And every spring since we have moved in, there has been a robin that has returned. And it's not the same robin. And I know it's not the same robin because robins, I looked it up, I think robins only live two years, I think. I could be wrong, but I, they don't live 10 years. Okay, they don't. So what I'm thinking is this is a generational robin. They come back to my rhododendron bush, which is a massive 12 foot tall rhododendron bush. And it blooms in May and it gets these beautiful flowers on it. And the robin family came back again this year and built a nest in the same spot that they've been in since we bought this house. Can you see it right here? Actually, it could be a him because both the male and the females lay on the nest. And they trust me. So I can stand right next to the bush and like look at them like this. And I'm very still. But they trust me. And they have trusted me since we moved in because a lot of times birds will, if there's too much people around the nest, they will they can abandon the nest if they feel frightened of the people. Um, and some some birds will actually, they will abandon the nest like at the drop of a hat. Like, um, I think it's ospreys. It's one of the falcons. If they there's too much traffic around their nest, they will abandon the eggs and the babies will die. And so I know that about birds. I actually have a lot of bird knowledge because I grew up with a grandpa down the street who was not a very good grandpa, but like I did learn a lot from, about birds from him because he had all kinds of birds. They had, between him and my uncle, they had pigeons, uh, pheasants, ducks. Um, I don't remember. He may have had a peacock at one time. It just there was a lot of birds around. I, I learned a lot of bird knowledge and fowl no knowledge. And I also really like birds. But the robins have always trusted me. Like I check in on them and make sure that everything is okay. And one year the mom had five babies and she was trying to teach them how to fly. And the cats from across the street were over here trying to hunt the baby birds. And they looked like full birds, but they were only two weeks old. They were, they, they grow really fast. They leave the nest really fast. So they're not there very long. And I was out there chasing that cat away. And I was like screaming and clapping at the cat. Get out of here. Leave them birds alone. And one of the robins landed in the street. And me and Mr. Cinnamon were yelling at the cat to get the hell away from the bird. <laughs> like leave my birds alone. <laughs> I know that's cat instinct. But stay. I already have problems with those cats anyway. They like to come over here they have ripped a hole in the bottom of my porch the cats from across the street to give themselves a home because they are outdoor cats and even when it's cold they are outdoor cats it was snowing they're they never are allowed in that house and they use my house so they use my porch under my porch started to smell like a kitty litter box so they were also using it for a bathroom so i had to board up under there and so i went and bought because i felt bad I boarded up the area that they, they broke open and then I put um, a crochet blanket inside a cat carrier that I purchased from the thrift store so that they had shelter but just not <laughs> under my porch shelter. So, because I don't, I don't want them to freeze but at the same time, like, stop using my porch as a toilet. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. So, yeah, like I said, there's a lot going on. The next... I'm going to say a couple of months are going to be intense. Um, so there's a lot. There's events that are coming up. There's concerts coming up. There's graduation coming up. There's prom coming up. Uh, my niece is going to be coming home from college for the summer. And she's already got jobs lined up. So I'm going to be driving her back and forth. And then because we don't have any family. Um, both my parents are dead. I only have one sister that I can rely on and that's it that's that's the extent of my family I do have like aunts and uncles in Michigan I have three aunts to send announcements to that she's graduated I don't have anybody that would come here <laughs> not one of my relatives would 
actually come to Virginia for her graduation or a party or anything like that. And then Mr. Cinnamon's family is mostly in California and some of them are in um, around Houston, Texas area. And so I have, I have maybe 20 people to send announcements to and that's it. So she, Juju was like, there's no sense in having a party. There's no sense in doing any. There's nobody to do it with. Like, there's nobody that will come. <laughs> and she's right. And I feel bad for her. So she said, so instead of spending money on, like, a party or anything like that, she doesn't even want to go out to dinner after graduation because she doesn't want to blow the money. She doesn't want us to blow the money on a dinner. She said, let's just cook something at home. She doesn't realize that cooking something at home because paprika is supposed to come. She hasn't said anything recently, but as far as I know, Paprika and her family are coming for... That's my baby sister, in case you didn't know. Um, they're coming for the graduation, I think, from Michigan. And she said, let's just cook at home. And I'm like, I'd rather, like, buy food. Like, I would ra <laughs> Like, I don't want to cook for other people. It's a lot of work. I don't want to clean up the mess after cooking for all those people. Like, let's go out to dinner or something. So we are going to use our Disney Vacation Club. And we're going, because we haven't been. We usually go, like, two, three times a year. Because we have Vacation Club. Like, the hotel is free. We drive down, so there's not airfare. <laughs> you know? Um, and then sometimes we'll get um, um, the annual membership. And then the tickets are already paid for, right? So the vacation doesn't really cost a whole lot to go because everything else is already taken care of. So we haven't been at all this year. And she wants to go in the summertime. And I was like, we can, we can go to Disney World in the summertime. So she wants to go down, I don't know how many days, couple, we're going to go down for a couple days. She wants the Mickey Mouse graduation ears. She wants to buy herself a pretty dress. So she's like saving all her money from her Etsy shop earnings. She's saving all her money. And um, she wants to buy herself a couple of things. Like, there's a pink dress that she really wants. And it's either the pink dress or they have a new dress that has lots of bear on it with strawberries. And she's really into strawberries and mushrooms and, like, lemons and, like, cherries. Okay? Like, that's sick. If she could wear those things all the time, she would. <laughs> she's a very... I don't remember. Cottage core aesthetic is what I think she calls it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not hip on the kids stuff, okay? But um, she wants to buy herself a pretty dress and then she wants us to take just her and Lucas to dinner in Disney World at one of our favorite restaurants down there. And I was like, that's a really good idea. So instead of a big party that no one's going to come to, um, we're just going to take her to Florida. We're going to have a party, just the four of us. And uh, my niece, Pumpkin Spice, has offered because she does have work lined up for the summer and she definitely needs that extra money for in case. Because, like, she lives at college almost all year. She likes having money in case she needs clothes or, like, personal things. And it's really cool to see her because very quickly she became self-reliant which was really neat to watch she's very guarded with her money but she also like blows it <laughs> on occasion like she's very good with making sure she has money in case she needs anything and the first couple months she was away at college this was almost two years ago now um she's almost done with her second year of college her first year she was like uh i need we call them personals it's the feminine products you know she's all any personals and so I would have to Amazon send her a box of personals and <laughs> Mr. Cinnamon actually said his family called them cookies for some reason I'm like ew that's not something I want to eat no girl cookies <laughs> personals so um she hasn't asked me for anything like that in a very long time. She buys her own stuff. Like, she's she's buying, like, soap and toothpaste and stuff, like, all by herself. With her little money that she earns in the summertime. And she filters it through. She also is an RA, so she gets paid bi-weekly as well. So she does have a constant paycheck coming in. But she's doing really good with maintaining her money. And making sure she has her needs met. Which I think is fantastic. So anyway... Let's get on to what I've made this week, since I've told you my whole life story. <laughs> this is it. 
this is this is it. All right, so Premier Yarns released the new minikins with these cute little yarns. These cute little yarns. All right, so this one's already been partially used for the whale, but they're they're just cute little balls of yarn, okay? And they're they're shaped like this, but usually when you get yarn like this, there's like a hard tube in there. There's nothing. This is just yarn. It's just wound like it's on one of those hard tubes, but there's no hard tube in there, which I love. Because there's nothing worse than buying yarn, and like most of it is that big giant toilet paper roll inside there. You guys know what I'm talking about. We've all gotten yarn that has, like, you think you're buying yarn and you're really buying cardboard. I can't stand that. So, I was happily, I was very pleased that this is just softball yarn. So these are 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And I made a little tiny whale, which I showed you guys on Saturday. So if you're seeing this again, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all I've, it's all I've made. Um, I, kn I swear I made something else. I, Mr. Cinnamon said, because I was like, I made Annie's little dress. This is Annie. I made this cute little dress and I crocheted it. And I was like, I wonder if this yarn would go good in my, my knitting machine. And he's all, well, you should probably go do that because you haven't used it in like all week. And I was like, yeah, I haven't used my knitting machine all week. <laughs> I've been busy crocheting things. I do have things that I've worked on back there that are crocheted. I've worked on this week for Mary Max and week. So there's other things I have made, but like I'm trying to like build up the suspense for you guys and, and reveal them. That's funny. My camera, <laughs> my camera popped up a little baby because now it's reading her as a baby instead of me as a person. <laughs> so it's in baby mode now. I love this camera. It does such cool stuff. I mean, sometimes it irritates me, but like, so I made this little Ariel, this is Ariel inspired dress. And then I threw some of the yarn in the knitting machine and it worked up just it worked up so easy, and I told you guys, my, my, I call her my female girl. I, I should probably call her Sheila. <laughs> Sheila here. Um, this is the Addy Express Pro. She's the little machine. She is finicky. Like, she is so particular. If I put yarn in here, I can't touch it. Okay, I gotta thread it in. The first row is, like, real tight, no matter how loose I weave it in. And then if I try to control the tension at all while I'm spinning it, mm, she is not having it. She ain't having it. She will split the yarn. She will, like, tangle up the yarn. She will choke out the yarn. And just, she does not want me to do anything except crank the handle. Okay? If I touch the yarn with my other hand, to even pull out a knot, she will give me a, a problem. She will throw a hissy fit, right? So Sheila... <laughs> I know this about Sheila. So I put in I put in the yarn and I did not touch it. And she does a good job with keeping the stitches kind of even, even though I'm not controlling the tension. The the stitches are a little bit looser than I like, but she like I said, she don't let me control no tension on her. I can control tension all day with the boy over there. Okay, with my big Addy King. He lets me control the tension. He lets me be in charge. Sheila ain't having it. Mm-mm. So, <laughs> I threw this in Sheila, knowing that Sheila was like that. And she made a beautiful little headband for, for Annie to wear. And I don't know how many rows this is, because I just crank it until it looks about right. <laughs> I eyeball everything. <laughs> and it works out most of the time. Well, it works out some of the time. Okay, some of the time it works out. And then this, this I hand crocheted. So I started working this exactly like I worked my Summer Love tank top. This is a tutorial on the channel. It is so cute and I cannot wait until it's warm enough to wear that. And I want to make a couple more because that is my favorite tank top. But I worked it the same way I started that one. So I made the panel going around this way. I seamed it in the back, which you cannot see barely at all right here. And then... I worked on the sleeves and I made puffy sleeves so I increased a lot and then I decreased a lot to give it like that puff because I wanted it to feel like it's mermaidy, you know and then for the skirt instead of double crocheting three times for each double crochet because it's this way 
So I'm going in the sides of double crochets there. So here on this, I do three double crochets in each double crochet stitch. Or maybe that was half doubles. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then on the four corners, I put peaks. So instead of doing that, I just put three, no. I put four double crochets in each double crochet side. So around each post, I put four double crochets so that it went out, it flared out and gave it like this, you know, effect. And then I just crocheted in the round until it was done. Until it was long enough to cover her tushy. And then we called it a day. And then I made this cute little, I know it's not perfect, but it's, it's meant to look like a um, sand dollar. So I, I crocheted that and then I sewed that on. And then we called it a day. This didn't take very long. The whale actually, the whale took me a long time because I was having problems. I'm having problems seeing, first of all. And also, my hands don't like working with little things. Like, it's painful to make amigurumi for me most times, which is why you don't see me making a lot of amigurumi. Um, but I did use a 4 millimeter hook on this yarn, and it was splitty. It was a little bit splitty. Because the yarn is, the yarn actually reminds me of the yarn that is in the bobbins. It feels similar to that. It's soft. It's not as silky as the yarn from the bobbins, but it's also made up with strands. So it's very loosely spun. And these strands will split a little bit, especially if you're crocheting real tight. So... I had more problems with the amigurumi just because I was crocheting really tight and I didn't have very many problems with the dress but this yarn is really soft and it's got a beautiful drape to it and it works up beautiful in garments. It is a hand wash type thing. No, it's machine wash but lay flat to dry and I think because the cotton in there, um, cotton can shrink so if you're gonna throw it in the dryer like it could shrink the object but also like some some cottons don't like heat at all so i think that's why it's lay flat to dry it's just because it's a really soft cotton and it comes in like so many colors and i know that they geared this towards amigurumi they really did but i kind of feel like nope it it looks so much better in garments the amigurumi are cute but like amigurumi are not my thing <laughs> they're not here hold your little whale so yeah that's what's going on on this monday like i said i have not made a whole lot i've made a couple of swatches for some yarn i made a couple of purchases but that's about all i've made <laughs> this that's about it because i i am working on i'm waiting on the yarn to finish this this is going to, my chair got stuck. It won't go forward. <laughs> this is, I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. This is supposed to be top secret and I haven't weaved in the ends yet, but I'm making a shawlette, not a shawlette. I call it something wrong every time. This is a, what is this called? It starts with an S. It's a short little sweater. I can't remember what it's supposed to be called. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's, it goes just under my boobs. Okay. This is just meant to go over. And you can put a button here if you want. And you can make this so it closes more if you want. But isn't this cute? So this is going to be one of the Mary Maxim patterns. And when I was working up the swatch to see how much yarn I needed to make one for my body size, which I'm I'm going to say I'm a 3X now. I, I hesitate saying 3X because I'm having a hard time that I've lost almost 40 pounds. <laughs> my brain is having a hard time and I still feel like I'm in a 4X. And I'm not, and I know this, and I've had to buy smaller clothes. So I'm going to say this is a 3X slash 4x that's just the way we're gonna label it okay this is made with prism which i am so in love with this yarn and then the blue is 
the Mellow Spun DK, which this is also Mellow Spun DK. So I wanted to work a swatch. And you guys are going to see these again because these are going to be featured on Mary Maxim Week. This is a fun little sweater thing, okay? <laughs> and I don't know why the word is escaping me of what this is called. It's not a shawlette. It's not a shawl. It's not... I don't remember what the word is. It doesn't matter right now. So anyway, while working, trying to figure out how much yards I would need to complete the sweater, I did a full panel in the yellow, which is the Mellow Spun DK in the color chamomile I believe I had to order another ball so one full ball of the the chamomile mellow spun DK made like the whole side panel and then I also had some brown of the same yarn and so I trimmed it out so now I have half of another sweater so I'm going to make another one of these and then when I'm done I'm also gonna put I got ribbing around the bottom I'm gonna make another one of these in just mellow spun DK. So that's gonna be one of the two of the yarns that we're featuring for Mary Maxim week is the prism and the mellow spun DK and you can make them out of either of the yarns. Like if you don't want it all rainbowy and colorful, like that's that's your prerogative. You can make a solid colors and you don't have to do like a, a different color for the 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 trim like I did. But I like the different colors for the trim. I think it like adds to it. It's kind of pretty so this is going to be one of our tutorials. I'm so excited. So I worked on this as well this week. Um, so that, this is, is this not cute? Is this not pretty? <laughs> it's so pretty. So you guys can put the word I'm thinking of in the comments because <laughs> my brain is still not, what is it called? It starts with an S. It, it's fine. It's fine. So that's what I've, that's mainly what I've been working on. And by the time you see this video, hopefully I will have started the tutorial for the the apron or the big wrap, which are both going to be time consuming projects. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to start with smaller projects. So I have, I'm going to show you everything. Okay. We're just going to show you everything because I'm excited. Let's see. There's a hat in here somewhere. Hang on. We're going to start Mary Maxim week with the smaller objects and we're going to work up. So, and I don't know exactly what order they're going to be in. I made fingerless gloves that go halfway up your arm. And I love these so much. Are these not beautiful? Tutorial for these is already filmed. Uh, that's already done. This is Mary Maxim Sunrise. And then we made a hat out of Mary Maxim Lullaby, which you can also, you can change these yarns out. You can use the Lullaby for the gloves and have a matching set, or you can use the Sunrise for the hat and have a matching set. So you, I'm just, I featured both the yarns because this is, it's the same yarn. It feels the same, it works up the same, except the Sunrise is solid colors and the, the Lullaby is variegated. And this is a summer hat meant to just be pretty on your head, not to provide any warmth at all. It's very open and lacy and I love this outfit. Like all of these pieces, you can make them all, and these are all DK weight yarns. So you could interchange and use all one yarn for any of these projects and have a full outfit if you wanted. You could match the gloves and the hat but I wanted to feature the yarns separately so that you guys got an idea of how delicious these yarns are. And this purple color is just gorgeous. I had to order more of this yarn. Actually, I ordered more of both of these because I loved working with them so much. So Sunrise, Lullaby, Prism, Mellow Spun, DK. That is what we have for Mary Max and Week so far. I still have two tutorials left to do, and that is the... Uh, apron, which I'm doing with baby blanket yarn because I think it'll be fun <laughs> and colorful and that's how we roll in the Shire. And then um, I'm also doing a wrap in this luscious yarn. This yarn is purely soft. 
I'm going to give you exact numbers in probably next week or very soon. I'm trying because I can't give, I mean, I know that I'm using one ball for the the baby, for the apron. I'm using one ball of the baby blankie yarn. I have a knitting needle on the floor that I keep hitting and I need to pick it up. So if you keep hearing that, that's my foot hitting a knitting needle that's rolling back and forth. <laughs> we need one ball of the baby blanket yarn. It's literally called baby blankie. And then I will give you numbers for the the shawl because I, I have those written down. And then you need a ball of the sunrise and a ball of the lullaby or two balls of the sunrise or two balls of the lullaby if you want your set to match. If you want it variegated, go for variegated. If you want it solid, go for the sunrise. Okay, so variegated is the lullaby. Solid colored is the sunrise, and the sunrise comes in beautiful colors, as does the lullaby. <laughs> as does the prism and the mellow spud DK. I, I'm really excited about doing Mary Max a week, and I know I've been talking about it a lot, but I am falling in love with some of these yarns, and I'm not, I, and I've said this before, and Mary Max have actually emailed me a while ago, and she's all, hey, I like your honesty, even though it's not always complimentary. <laughs> and I didn't know, at the time, I didn't know whether that was an insult or a compliment, but she did let me know later on. She said, no, that was a compliment. That's absolutely a compliment. She likes my absolute honesty with reviewing yarns, even if it's not complimentary. Because A, it's still getting the name of the yarn out there, and it's letting you know that, hey, this yarn has some issues, but you still might like it. And that's the way I tend to do reviews is I'm like, hey, this yarn is beautiful. But you like we featured this beautiful, super soft yarn. It's called Mary Maxim Super Soft. I featured this last Wednesday and I showed you guys a swatch and I was like, hey, this yarn's beautiful. It's soft. It's really fluffy, though, and it's not going to frog well. So if you are confident that you're making something that you don't need to, as a matter of fact, you could probably use this super soft in the sweater if you want it to be fuzzy instead of less fuzzy because the prism and the super soft are similar. I mean, that would work. <laughs> it absolutely would work. Um, but like, try out the prism. It's really, really beautiful yarn. So I'm like, okay, but it's beautiful, but here are the problems. Okay. And then a couple of people said the fuzzy yarns in the comments. They're like, hey, the fuzzy yarns do pills up as well, too. So keep that in mind. I'm like, that is a good point. And I didn't think about that because I don't think about washing the things after I make them. I think about wearing them. I I don't think about washing them. I try to think about washing them. So I'm like, hey, here are the washing instructions. Hand wash. Lay flat to dry. If you don't like that, don't buy this yarn. So, like I said, I don't like... And, and it's not that I don't like all of Mary Maxim yarns. There's some yarns I prefer not to work with because they're a little bit scratchy or rough. And I have, I have blisters that constantly come on. Painful, okay? So I can't use a lot of yarns unless it's in my knitting machine and I don't have to touch it, especially with Sheila over there. <laughs> so I'm always honest. I'm like, hey, like this yarn is nice, but it's kind of scratchy. This yarn is nice, but it doesn't frog real well. But the prism... Oh, it's worth the effort. It's beautiful. Is that not beautiful? <laughs> it's so pretty. I ordered more of this as well because I fell in love with it. And then the Mellow Spun DK is a really nice soft yarn. It works up really beautifully. So I'm opening my own eyes to Mary Maxim because I haven't worked with any of the yarns that I'm featuring on Mary Maxim Week until I made the tutorials. So my opinions are fresh opinions that are new to me because I've, like I said, I've never worked with any of these yarns. Not the Sunrise, not the Lullaby, not the Prism, not the Mellow Spun DK. The Baby Blankie yarn I haven't worked with yet. And I haven't made anything with the Purely Soft either for Mary Maxim. So these are all brand new yarns to me. So you're getting a fresh, brand new review of these yarns, as well as a beautiful, fun pattern to make that a lot of the yarns are interchangeable with each other, which I was like, I was really excited about that. I was like, okay, I did a good job planning this out. Because <laughs> in the pre-planning process, I'm like stressing myself out. I'm like, what am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? What am I gonna make? And to get ideas, I look at photographs of crochet stuff. I look at patterns in books. I And I just get an idea of 
what I like what is there to make okay and since a lot of my pattern books don't go up to like 4x or 5x or 6x I have to look at what they're doing and then try to decide how I can make that work for every single person because all of my patterns can be customized to baby size all the way up to as big as you need it to be if you need a 9x uh, you can do that I just tell you how to make my size and then I tell you how to adjust it for your body I tell you how to measure the things on your body because I don't want one single person to feel excluded from any pattern so that's how we do that I'm, I've had enough talking my battery is like you're, you're done battery is about to shut off so I'm gonna let you go and I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday tea and happy mail and maybe something else bye guys